Good evening, I'm Mark Lane. Here's what's making headlines across the county. Bakersfield police are mourning the loss of a former officer. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office in Colorado says 39-year-old Andrew Perry, a Kern County native, was killed in the line of duty while responding to a shooting on Sunday. Perry was one of three officers who arrived on scene at the same time and were immediately met by gunfire from the suspect. Perry is survived by his wife Megan and two children. The suspect is still at large. A Tehachapi couple facing murder and child cruelty charges in the death of their infant are expected in court this week. The father, 30-year-old Mr. Bailey, is due in court for his felony arraignment today. Bailey and the child's mother, 28-year-old Sabrina Martinez, were each arrested on one count of murder and a number of other charges in the death of the child. On December 22nd of 2020, Tehachapi police were notified of an infant not breathing inside an apartment on North Mill Street. The baby boy was taken to a local hospital where he later died. Sabrina Martinez has a preliminary hearing scheduled for Wednesday. And over the weekend, an inmate walked away from a Bakersfield reentry program facility, and now officials need your help in finding him. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation says this man, 28-year-old Andres Carrera, went missing from the facility on North Sillet Avenue just after 10.30 yesterday morning. He's described as 5 feet 11 inches tall, 188 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. Carrera was admitted on April 14th to serve two years and eight months for buying and receiving stolen property and possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. Anyone with information is asked to call 911. And not a bad day for us today. We're sitting at 93 degrees here this afternoon. We're a little bit more comfortable or more used to it being about 103 at this time. So a big change compared to where we've been sitting recently, but only a degree warmer or degree cooler, excuse me, than this time yesterday. So that cooler weather has made its way into Kern County and it's going to stay for a couple of days. We're going to enjoy some 90s here. It does look like towards the end of the forecast, we'll get back into the triple digits. The good news, though, no extreme heat in the forecast. Even though this last heat wave was very long, we didn't have a lot of extreme heat with it. Something else we're going to keep an eye on tomorrow, the possibility for maybe one or two isolated showers, not widespread moisture tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on that pushing back in later this week into the weekend as well. But overall, temperatures running a little more comfortable. Brandon, thank you very much. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com